Right, Land Rover Defender side ladder. It's it's quite a nice piece of design. Obviously, it only means you can get up the side of your car, which is no good for me because we've got the rear roof tent. So I sort of get the wrong angle on that, really. Um, but we did do it. We did do a fitting video. We thought it was okay. Um, and obviously, what happens is this bit sort of falls down here, and um, it all now. There's been some problems with this ladder and people have written to me and said, Simon, can you have a look at this? So we are having a look at this. So basically where this folds down, there is a hinge here and it fits inside the extrusion and the hinges are breaking. Now, I am not the chunkiest, beefiest guy. So when I did it, it didn't break, but some people are, now I'm not saying when the ladder breaks, you've eaten too many pies. I'm not being judgmental. We're gonna put it down to possibly a fault in the casting. So we are gonna have a look at this hinge. So, right, so there we go. So this is the hinge from Land Rover. Now if you zoom in loads of this here, do your best camera skills. There is some writing here and I'll put a screenshot on the screen. And this is what it's made from. So this is actually cast from a type of zinc. So we know that they make it from a type of zinc and it's basically two parts. You've got this little indented ball there and you've got, you go and it clips together and a bolt goes through here and it goes. Now, the ladder on the car doesn't sit straight down. So the force on this hinge is not purely tensional. It's got a rotation aspect because it sits on the car like this. So when you're on the bottom step, which has got the most leverage, you're gonna go, Boom, okay, and they're breaking. Now, I haven't had one break, but if you look online, you'll see the fractures. Now, from a design perspective, this isn't great. You've got an absolute 90 degree angle here, and you can see that when the forces are going on that, that is gonna give you a monster stress concentration. If you look at it the other way as well, you'll see that these two little bits here have also got the same monster 90 degrees. So, there's a couple of problems, I think, fundamentally with this design. One in they've used cast materials, and you'll see from the pictures that I put up earlier, I'll put them up again, is that the surface of the fracture is very porous looking, very crystalline. Now, with casting, you always get imperfections and air bubbles and stuff. So the problem with the casting is they're quite variable, one to another, depending on where the bubbles and the crystals and all that fall you can be in trouble so we are going to do a test today so people have asked me can i redesign it so we have redesigned it so we have done the cad files we've got that now this one is in aluminium what aluminium did we use ben 70 75 70 75 sounds expensive and then we thought we'd do one in st stainless steel now these are not cast aluminium. these are all made from billet so this is where you take a big slab of metal and you machine it. You can see all the CNC machining. So we are gonna try and do, we've also 3D printed it. Now, to be fair, we 3D printed this one just to check before we spent money on CNC in it that it was dimensionally correct. So these hinges fit in the ladder with two bolts that go in the side and they just slide in the extrusion. Right, so we did talk to the guys at Bolton University and we may get a more scientific test done, but that means I've got to drive up north. So. For now, we've got this pretty basic setup. So let me talk you through the setup. So we have the hinge. We have the hinge clamped this way, but more importantly, clamped here, this G-clamp just, right? And then we've got a lead. Now, we need to do this, Ben. Right, measure, measure. Where's my tape measure gone? Here. Right, so roughly when this hinge is down and you're on the bottom step, how much leverage have you got from the that to the pivot board, you've got about 45, 450 millimeters. So we've got a bit more than that, right? You'll see, so I've actually got nearly two or three times that. So we have got a much longer arm. So I know that, but that's because we want to test it and it's easier for me to test it without using hundreds of kilograms. It's better for me to extend the leverage. So we've got that. So that is slid over the hinge. That is going down there. We better make sure that doesn't fall off, but. Right, and then we've bought this crane gauge. So this crane gauge is gonna, I am gonna stand on here and you will see as we start to do it, this is gonna measure the force. Now, unfortunately, my 50 quid crane gauge off eBay doesn't have a maximum. So we're gonna have to rely on Alicia's camera work to see what the maximum reach. So I will apply the force gradually and we will see 
when and if it breaks. Can I get it to break? So that is the genuine hinge. So test one, the genuine hinge. So here we go. I'm going to put my foot in this hoop, All right? Alicia's on the thing. Get a move a bit further away, Alicia, in case it all explodes in your face. Because let's do a risk analysis here. The chances are this bit of metal is going to go flying because the hinge is going to break. So I will also hold this gently just so it doesn't go too far. Right, Ben, your health and safety supervisor, are you happy? Happy. Happy. <laughs> right, where are we going? Give me some numbers, Ben. We're on six. We're on six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, that went easy. Twelve. Twelve. Right, let's have a look at the failure. So that really didn't take a lot to go, did it? I always thought I was going to have to strain them. Right then, so what failed? So it failed exactly where we thought it would fail. Right, give me a second. Right, so you can see where it failed. So like we predicted, where we've got the square, it, it really gives a stress concentration. And look at that. And look at that crystalline stuff on here. Now, we will emphasize this is an absolutely genuine, not an aftermarket ladder. So this is a genuine ladder. So yeah, look at that. That looks pretty. Um, and we may keep that and get some, we could get some sort of analysis of that done. Um, but that didn't go much. Right, what should we do next, Ben? 3D print. 3D print, <laughs> right. Let me take the bolt, because we've only got one bolt. So let me take the bolt out of here and put it on the other one. Right, so we've got it. Show them, Alicia. Show them we've got the 3D printed hinge. Same setup, exactly the same. I'm not even sure if this will take the weight of my of the rod here. So let's have a look. It might, it might go straight away. Something's going. Yeah, it won't even take the weight. God, that was funny. <laughs> so, so did it go in the same place? Yes. Um, oh, look, it turned to powder. Now, we weren't doing this one. This was only a comparison. We only did this for dimensional analysis. So, flip an neck. Right then. Whoosh! Look what I... I could smuggle cocaine with that, Ben. <laughs> look at that. Right then. So, there you go. Like that. And again, I think it's actually sort of, is it completely disintegrated where it went? Yeah, it's, yeah. Um, that's it. Yeah, so that's, again, but you can see it's failed at the corner there. Right, right, let's get, let's get the big guns out, shall we, Ben? Right, let's yeah. do now, we'll do the aluminium yeah. one next. Right, here we go, so we've now got the aluminium one in, same bolt going through it, same setup, same leverage, same end. So let's compare. So what did we get to Ben last time? Uh, 12, 12. 12, right in. Yeah. Same again then, Alicia video in, Ben, call out the numbers. Yeah, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Oh, it's moved in the voice. All right, let me clamp it up again. Take two. Let's see if we can get a bit more force. Five, out. six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 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 So what? What we? What was that compared to the original then? Twelve was the original. Twelve. So we're, we're over double the original. Um, now, interestingly, look what? Look, the bolt snapped. Look at that! So, so look, the bolt, and obviously you've got the same issue with the, the bolt. That's the weakest part of the bolt. So look, we've actually stress tested it to the, the actual limit of the bolt. We've only got one bolt left. Now, as a side note here, we've got the stainless steel one to try it. Land Rover do not supply replacement hinges. So if you've got a faulty ladder, you're kind of pooped. Um, right, so we've got, that's double the force. Of, that's still good as new, Ben. Is that really good as new? Let me have a look. That's the, I've lost. The aluminium. Right, so we've had a look. And so the, what happened, I think, was the, that aluminium on that side failed. And then all the force was on that bolt then. So then it went. And then you can see it sheared the bolt. But again, it's gone right in that corner. But look how, although it's crystalline, it's much finer. It's not as coarse as that cast. Right, last test, stainless steel. So we have got it clamped in. We have now got the stainless steel one. We've used our second bolt. That's our last bolt. We've got the bolt in. Um, so that's good. I think the bolt's going to end up going on this one. Right, we're just waiting for it to wake up again. It's had a bit of a sleep. Now, I think it had 0.5 on it before as default. Come on, is it coming? Oh, yeah, it's ready now, isn't it? Is it ready? 
Yeah. yeah, it's working. Right, we're in. Right, so here we go. So strap again. Right, Ben's have to go home. Right, and Alicia, you're reading and filming. Have you got this? Make sure you've got this well and truly in the film. Yeah, I got this. Right, how many are we on? 9.5, 10, 12, 13, 16, 32, 35, 36. Oh, babe. We're good. We've got 36, which is three times, if I'm not mistaken. Is that three times the original, this year? Yeah. Right, so what happened? And look, it just sheared the bolt. Look at that. The, the hinge is absolutely fine. Right, so look at that. So there you go. So I think it's possible to design even with this stress concentration, a hinge that is more than capable of taking the weight. I think it's material choice. Right, so we are gonna make these available. So we wanted to test these, to test our CAD data, and also to test which type of material we were gonna use. So we are gonna use stainless steel. So give us a few weeks and we will have these stainless steel hinges in stock write in, email in if you want them, um, or wait for them, keep an eye out on the website for them. We will get these in stock, stainless steel. They're not gonna be cheap because they're machine. Um, and Landover may well say, well, yeah, we, we've got to do everything for a price, so that's why we use cast materials. But I think you can see there is a, that is just, I mean, it's just sheared the bolt. Um, quite how much, bear in mind, I don't know how much that is equivalent to the weight of the person because we've extended the leverage etc etc but there we go that's what we're gonna do so any comments let me know